start by saying this. Nothing in your life that you have direct control over is more important than breathing. I mean, four or five minutes without it, and you might be dead. So what does the O2 trainer do for you? It trains your muscles that are responsible for breathing in, inhaling. And an average human being has about 11 pounds of those muscles. You see, lungs by themselves don't do anything. They're just two bags. There's no muscle in the lung. The diaphragm is the biggest muscle for inhaling. That muscle, together with the external intercostal muscles, the muscles in between your ribs, make your chest expand. Now, there's a vacuum between the body and the lungs, and that vacuum will open up your lungs as soon as you open up your chest. Okay, let me explain. Your diaphragm is a thin dome-shaped muscle tendon which separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. And it's connected at the bottom of your ribcage all the way around. So if your fingers here underneath your sternum, you can walk them down, walk them down, walk them down, all the way to the back along the spine. Now imagine this is the diaphragm. You remember I said a thin dome-shaped muscle tendon? This is it. Now this side here is connected to the bottom of your ribcage. And when you inhale, it flattens down. It goes like this, down. And from that angle, you don't see a lot, but look what happens, poof. This expansion happens here in the middle of your body and that will open your ribcage. And again, there's a vacuum between the body and the lungs and that will open up your lungs. Of course, this is gonna go really fast. When you have great chest expansion, you maximize the amount of air that you can pull into your lungs. By the way, it won't make your lungs bigger. No device out there can claim that. If they do, it's a lie. But again, you can maximize what you have. So, your chest doesn't expand because you fill your lungs with air. No, your chest expands and that's how you pull in the air. Crazy, right? Do you know how you know that your chest needs to expand? Very simple, breathe out, close your nose and mouth, and then try to expand your chest. Well, good luck with that. The O2 trainer also teaches you to use your breathing muscles so you breathe correctly. And now you're gonna say, hey, but boss, I've been breathing since I came out of the womb. I know how to breathe. Yeah, we all tell ourselves that. And we all are breathing correctly as a child, that is. But that disappears around the age of six. Dr. Belize Avredic, a world-renowned breathing expert, and myself, we showed a breathing course. Everything you need to know about breathing is in that course. And we will also go into why you don't breathe correctly anymore. Right now, I'm just touching on how breathing and the diaphragm works. But in that course, we go all out and explain everything you need to know about breathing. Let's continue. I said we are breathing wrong. And studies have shown that 95% of us are breathing wrong. What do we all do when people ask us to take a deep breath? <sighs> we raise our shoulders. Please know that four to six of those shoulder raising breaths, which we call a vertical breath, are the same as one belly breath, or as we call it, a horizontal breath, or even diaphragmatic breath. Let's give you an example. Let's take the lowest number, number four. So, if you're a fighter and you're very tired, you come back to your core and you got one minute to recoup, instead of breathing 40 times like this, you can get the same amount of air in by doing it correctly 10 times. Look at my breathing. This was for a world title fight in 1996, for crying out loud. So crazy right now, that breathing is completely gone now. Now, if I come out of a hard round, I breathe like this. And before, well, you saw it. I know, this is huge. It blows me away that no more people know this, but I understand it because I was doing it wrong when I was fighting professionally. I mean, you just saw it. And listen to this, every published medical journal will tell you this. Only the really high level endurance coaches like Jack Daniels, not to drink, are using it for their athletes. Let's connect some things. Gassing. You know what happens when you're gassing? That is oxygenated blood leaving your limbs to support your number one priority in your body. You guessed it, your breathing muscles. And as I mentioned before, you have about 11 pounds of them. There's a medical term for that, that literally says blood stealing. Let's connect another one, stamina. You know why your stamina increases when you work out? Yeah, of course, boss, because I'm training really hard. Yeah, but understand that. What is the reason? Well, I'll tell you. When you train a muscle over and over again, it becomes more efficient. And once that happens, it needs less oxygen because the word already says it, it's more efficient. So why not work in your breathing muscles out so they become more efficient and don't have to steal blood anymore from your other limbs? And by the way, there's no other way to make them stronger than by training them with resistance. Inspiratory muscle training is what they call that. And guess what? This cheap looking simple piece of rubber, the O2 trainer, 
is an inspiratory muscle trainer. No batteries, no electronics that can break down. You can literally smash this thing on the ground. Look, it's flying all over the place and you're good to go. You buy one and it will be good for the rest of your life. Very simple device, yet very powerful. On our website, we have published medical journals that will say exactly what I'm telling you right now. Oh, and published medical journals, not only for endurance, but also for COPD, asthma, anxiety, sleep apnea, cystic fibrosis, dealing with high altitude, back problems, balance, you name it. Look it up, you can find it right there. This device here is clinically proven to do what I say it does. Oh, and one more thing, this new model, the 2.0, is made in America.